Hi, my name is Wilkins and I've just built my very own electric skateboard. Okay, so this is the penny board that I bought maybe around two years ago. I bought it purely for practical reasons, just to get from point A to point B at uni as quick as possible. And skating has been great uh, over the past couple of years, but there have been just a few things that make it a little bit unpleasant. For example, going uphill on a really hot day. It kind of sucks. And I know what you might be thinking, well, if going uphill kind of sucks, what about going downhill? That must be heaps of fun. Well, no, going downhill has its difficulties as well. Let me explain. When you go downhill, you gotta make sure you're in control of your speed. And there are only two ways that I know of where you can break sort of safely. The first one is called the parachute. And it's not a very effective braking method. But the second more common way is what we call the foot brake which is fine, it works, but it ruins your shoes. And also, I'm 23 now, I'm not really that old, but it's already starting to hurt my knees and I think that's a bad thing to keep on doing every single day. So I thought to myself, well, would it be possible to have a skating experience without going uphill ever and without having to deal with the difficulties breaking? Yes, there is an electric skateboard. So then I had a look online at Boosted Board's website. Boosted are probably the most well-known electric skateboard brand out there on the market today. And yeah, they're quite expensive, especially to get them to Australia. You gotta add on, you know, conversion fee, you gotta add on some tax, you gotta add some shipping, and it just becomes a huge nightmare to even get it into Australia. So then I had a look at other companies that were out there. Juiced was another one. Juiced was sort of funding the Kickstarter at around the same time I was thinking about this, uh, a few months ago. And they had a really affordable electric skateboard, but I had a look at some reviews online and they weren't the most confidence inspiring thing. So I showed all of this to my friend Simeon, who is studying mechatronics engineering at the moment. And he said, no, don't waste your money buying Boosted or Juice. Go build your own. You can do it for way cheaper and I can help you do it. And I thought to myself, really? you can actually build your own electric skateboard. So I had a look online. It took me about three months to sort of do my research, get all the parts together. And I realized you could actually build three of these things for the price of one boosted board. Three DIY boards for one boosted board. So I said to Simeon, sure, all right, let's do it. And that's when it all started. <laughs>
So what you get at the end of all that is your very own electric skateboard that can go faster than a boosted board and longer than a boosted board. It has a top speed of 43 kilometers an hour and has a range of about 16 kilometers. Plus it costs less than a boosted board in Australia. So to me, that's, that's a good deal. But this board isn't perfect and there's so many flaws with it. I know them because I built this board. These are the things that make it not as good as a pre-built board. Number one, I don't have an on or off button. I have to physically take off this lunchbox lid and connect the wires together just to turn it on and to leave it on whenever I want to use it. So that's something I can upgrade later. I can install my on off button. Secondly, charging. To charge this, I have to take out each of the batteries and plug it into this LiPo charger. And it takes about 80 minutes per battery to charge this thing from zero to 100. 80 minutes times three, that's significantly more than just charging a booster board in a wall for 40 minutes and having it fully charged. And another thing about the batteries, while they do give you more range, these are LiPo batteries, they're cheaper, but they're a little bit dangerous and you've got to be very careful when you work with them. As you saw before, I accidentally shorted three batteries in series because I wasn't paying attention and that's stupid. Thirdly, I don't have my own phone app and I don't have any way to, you know, track the range of my board or how much battery is left in my board. I'm literally just going out there and just driving blind. Uh, but again, I can make apps. I've sort of done that before. I can make an app for this, just throw a Bluetooth module in there and connect it all up. That's a future update that I could do. So what should you do if you're looking for an electric skateboard? Should you build your own one? Should you buy a pre-built one? I think if you don't want to spend $2,000 and you want to build your own board, that's potentially going to go faster and go longer than a top tier boosted board, then yeah by all means build your own one if i can do it i think you could do it and i can definitely help you out in the comments but if building things isn't for you then yeah you could spend your money on a pre-built board and it's gonna be built better it's gonna be more reliable potentially and i think you'll be really happy with that purchase this whole experience for me was really fun and i learned so much just doing this from start to finish and that's why for me building a board was probably the right thing to do but either way, thanks for watching. I hope you hit that like button and subscribe. There will definitely be more videos on this in the future. I'll do a proper review, test the range, test the speed. And I want to compare this side by side with other boards as well. So if you're in the Melbourne area and you have an electric skateboard, let me know because I'd love to like do a drag race or something and just to see how this board really, really stacks up. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.